Hey everyone, after going through the installation of the software, we can now open Saad Pro for the very first time. So, ang kailangan natin gawin is to activate the software first before i-open natin yung actual na Saad Pro software or application. So, unang i-open natin na application will be the connection or connect client software so that mabigyan tayo ng access nung license natin that is available online. So, on your desktop, may makikita kayong maliit na icon sa may right side. Expand lang natin yan so that we'll be able to see the icons available for us. So, hanapin natin tong icon na to. Right? So, that's connect client. Connection client. Right? And then, kung mapapansin natin yung icon niya naka-X, it means that we have not yet connected our account online. So, kailangan tayo mag-login. So, after tayo makapag-login, papapalitan yung icon nito ng ng checkmark. So, i-click lang natin yung icon para lumabas to. Left click and then click on open. Let's just wait for the the app to initialize. So, ito siya. Connection client. And then, using the same account that you have used through yung, soft, yung website ng Bentley Educations or educations.bentley.co mag-login tayo. So, in my case, meron na akong existing account. So, ito yung gagamitin din ko. Ayan. And after nyan, uh, we can actually proceed and follow the next steps. Now, looking at the icons now, naka-check na yung kanyang um, yung kanyang symbol. Right. So, we can just leave this one as is. So, pupunta tayo dun sa ating start menu para ma ma-open natin yung Bentley licensing tool natin. Yan. So, dun sa start menu, you can just type Bentley licensing tool and then yung pinakaunang lalabas na option, that will be the one that you'll supposed to open. And then, tignan lang natin yung laman ng ating installation. So, dito sa akin, ang naka-install is... Uh, Saad Pro and then connect, connect Client which is commercial and then yung RAM connection in my case so student, student and then trial yung Saad Pro Advanced so dapat may option tayo dito ng Saad Foundation pero um, as of now hindi pa natin na I mean commonly if for other accounts automatic na lalabas yung Saad Foundation pero as of now we'll just have to ignore yung case na to. For our initial initial requirements, yung existing na mga license ngayon dito will suffice. So, Stad Pro and then RAM connection. So, ito hindi natin muna, eh, hindi natin gagamitin yung Stad Pro Advanced. Right? So, after nyan, we can now proceed and kapag okay na to, we can now proceed and open the software. So, the icon for Staad Pro is uh, located on your desktop. Pag inactivate nyo or you have chosen to allow the installation to proceed and in provide a shortcut on your desktop. So, kung nakaprovide na yung desktop shortcut sa, sa machine mo, then you can just open using yung shortcut na to. Or in my case, it would be a lot easier for me to use yung start button. Or on your keyboard, pwede mong i-press yung window key para lumabas yung option ng start menu. And then you can just type start. If you have no no other software similar to yung start na keyword, then lalabas yung tamang, yung tamang software. Alright, so start Pro Connect Edition version 22 update 7. For as long as version 22 yung gamit natin, it would it would probably work. 
even though iba iba yung ating updates so if you are using update 7 8 9 or lesser versions like 6 okay lang all you all you have to do is click on the software so click lang natin yan Then we'll just wait for the software to load. So, ito yung itsura niya. Now, you have there the license condition of your software. So, academic license. And then, your primary, primary licenses are indicated on the bottom right corner of your, of the user interface. So, start pro. And then RAM connection. And with that, we can now start and create projects or open existing ones. So, ganito yung default na itsura niya. So, it's just like a typical Windows application. So, if you have ever used Word document editor, so yung Microsoft Word, halos ganito yung itsura niya. Anyway, let's just look at yung mga contents. So, yung mga notifications or yung mga help guides andito, Licenses are located here. Announcement coming from the uh, yung inactivate ninyo na na, na option dun sa account ninyo during during your registration. Lalabas dito yung mga notifications. And then ito yung display, yung pinaka display natin. Right? For existing projects and other other related aspect ng ng software. Um, okay, so ito yung titignan natin madalas. No? So, andyan yung mga option to open new file. Or I mean, open existing file and then create new files. We have other alternative options here like archive, share, and then help. Now, kung may mga hindi tayo maintindihan uh, regarding yung software, the documentation may, may be able to help us by Clicking on yung help, dadalhin tayo sa online link or uh, mag-open yung online link na naka-touch naka dito sa button na to. Alright, so other options dito, we might not be able to use them too often. So like yung archive and then yung share. Uh, commonly, ito yung ginagamit natin, yung open and then yung... So we have also alternative options for so instead of uh, going through yung Bentley licensing tool pwedeng sa may license tayo dito or kaya under configuration so you just click on license and then you can activate the uh, the the type of license that you want to be active on your machine so in my case yung product type ko is Taad Pro hindi yung advanced and then I'm also currently using RAM connection I have unchecked yung select entitlement for uh, kasi ito naka, naka trial din lang so we, we are not able to use this one. Now if you have modified any parts you just click on accept. Right. After nyan is let's fix the configuration of our machine or I mean yung software natin in relation to yung, yung, yung machine na ginagamit natin yung computer. So, under general, i-fix natin yung default na unit. Because sin because we are using NSCP and basis, ang basis madalas is metric. So, magbi-metric tayo. We activate metric and then we press OK. You can change the background to black, the theme to any other colors. You can modify everything. Do not change the global setting. We will be using Y. Do not change the language also. I think Ang default dito is English and there are no other options, I, I believe. So, English lang talaga. Uh, you can also manipulate other options dito. But make sure that you are uh, you are sure about yung mga details na binabago natin. So, uh, like for instance, yung analysis part. Sometimes kasi medyo matagal yung analysis niya. So, um, it is good to provide a temporary location for yung, yung file. 
Um, but in my case, okay lang. I have de- deactivated this one. You can also select yung, um, this, yung licensing option during startup and other details. File format, design codes, so yung mga defaults natin. So for steel, ang ginagamit kasi natin for NSCP 2015 is 360-10. So we, you can activate this one as your default. Alright, so AISC 2011 for concrete. Um, for aluminum, never mind, we're not going to use aluminum. Timber also will not be significant in our discussions section database let's not change any settings here and then your workflow uh, wala na rin dito as of now all right and then if if everything has been set you can just press ok and we are ready to open or create a new project so if you are opening the software for the very first time, you'll have to click on new. But if you have existing projects from from outside, downloaded online, or kaya kinuha mo from somebody else, then you can use yung open. But as of now, since it's our first time opening new software, let's use yung new. And here are the options provided for us. Alright, so yung workflow dito is top, top down. So from the very top, pababa. We provide information for the model info, job info, and then we press create. So under model info, ito yung mga laman niya. You'll have to provide the file name, the location of the file, the type of the file that you are creating, the unit that you will be using, title, model seed. Okay, so let's work with every options right here. So model info. So let me just call this one sample number one. Now for the location of your file, it's important that you maintain some standards in your workflow. Like for instance, whenever you're working with Staad projects, you designate a certain directory that you will be placing all of your projects. So in my case, I commonly add a folder on my desktop or on my secondary drive which is the D drive but for the this demonstration let me just create a folder right here All right so folder so start sample let's provide an intuitive name for this so start sample and then location i can just click on browse then look for the folder that i have just created so under desktop I'll look for start sample and then select folder. All right. Now, if you want to add folders by just simply typing the location, you can certainly do so because the software is able to create directories or folders by its own. What I mean is we have not created any, any folder inside of the main folder that we have created, but if I am to uh, say right here that I want another fo folder inside, like uh, sample number one. So, ang type ko lang is forward slash or I mean backslash ba to? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Pero, um, dapat parehas yan. So, slash and then slash and then provide the extension, the, the additional name. So, let me just name this one sample number one. So please take note that sample number one, or let me just make it folder. Sample folder for sample number one. Note that uh, this folder right here is not available on the main directory that we have just created right here. Right? So I'll just leave it as, uh, as is and then the type that I'll be selecting will be analytical. We are not going to be using yung physical and building kasi that is for advanced version ng Staad. Alright. So, wala tayong license none, So, we are unable to proceed with the other types. So, analytical lang tayo. Since we have already configured the license or I mean the unit, it's automatically reflected on the unit of the newly created file. So, 
It's under metric. You can provide title and others but commonly since naka-indicate naman dito na optional, I do not really bother modifying these options. Now everything is set. Job info. You can provide details for your project. So this is a non-critical part of the the inputs, yung initial inputs for this project. Because it will not really affect the output of your your design. Pero if you are expected to produce reports later on using STAAD, directly from STAAD, um, job information is very critical. Yan. So kung gusto nating maayos yung report later on, then dapat ito ayusin na natin. But, is, and especially if you're working in a team, commonly may laman yung mga yan. So anyway, let's just put some some informations on the job details. So let me just call this one yung job name as sample number one. And then a client is, let me just place here SLU. Job number one, revision number one, part number one. Can also place the numerical values here like part A, reference. Let's not, let's keep this part, and then provide the details for the person that is conducting the edit or the initial or the workflow, the checker and then the approver. So let me just place my initials. Work with initials, guys, when placing details about the the entities who are working on the project. So para hindi masadong mabigat. So, initials lang. Dito rin. Yung checker. Ako rin. Approver. Maglagay tayo ng date. Because if we we skip yung date, magkakaroon ng error. So, I'll just select today. Today. Comments. You can add comments here. Like, uh, revision number one and others. Forget about connect pro uh, project information. This is about the the association of your existing project online. So, I think hindi, hindi naka-activate yung repository natin. So, hindi natin... I do not recommend adding information here. Now, once everything has been set up, you can just cre create the project. So, i-click lang natin to. And then, remember, a while back, na sabi natin na wala tayong folder nito, but the software has created the folder for us. Or I mean, it's currently asking us kung okay lang na i-create yung folder. Kasi it does not exist. So of course, I'll se select yes. And then if, if there are no errors, ito yung lalabas sa screen natin. And we are ready to begin the modeling of any projects that we want to design or analyze. Alright. So, yun lamang for this video.